Uh-huh. Y'all ain't ready for this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go. Yeah. Listen. Uh-huh. Check it. Let these bars give you an introduction. Chases. Sweet touch protection when she touch it. Hey, baby, you're gonna love it. And I'm gonna spit this person give you a summary of it. Jewelry so sparkling, she touch it. Grab so go, she touch it. Case, Casey, cause she touch it. Abracadabra rest. Oof, the sound of fabulous. Make no mistake, craft uh-uh. arts and cake. She creates some great and shifts from the great legs. Stay, set a spark. Contact her today. Passionately intrigued. Our love is on this way. I've decided to make another uh, pyramid, ocean breeze, um, by the seaside, whatever you want to call it. I've got shells and rocks and, and, and colored stones and some sea, uh, ceramic, no, glass seashells in it. I didn't show you my whole process, you know, I'm coming on late with it, but I want to cover this bottom. I have some colored sand. It's got some iridescent flakes in it, and I want to use the rest of this epoxy that I used for something else before it goes bad, before it hardens up. I want to use that and cover the bottom of this pyramid with the sand. So I'm just pouring some in this cup. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need to cover that. But even if this isn't enough to cover, with the sand, I'm put a sand in it. If it's not enough, then I can always add more clear on top of this. So I'm just gonna put this sand in here. Do I put it all? Eh, not yet. Mix this up, let's we'll see what it looks like. Let me see the consistency. Yeah, maybe I'll use it all. Why not? And I'm sure this is going to be more than enough to cover the top of this. I'll probably have some of this left over and have to pour it in another mold. Sand is pretty heavy. I'm trying to stir it and it's, uh, it's going to the bottom. All right, let's pour this in here. To cover this bottom. I'm just going to start in the middle. And let it uh, level out. I don't want to over pour. Let me stop for a minute. I can keep going. I've got it covered to the top. I'm going to let this dry and then you all can um, demold with me. I made another pyramid, y'all, so I've got to un- demold, unmold it, and I wanted to do this while I was on camera for you. It's uh, a seascape, seashore, by the sea, I don't know what you want to call it, ocean scene. I used uh, shells, I made some epoxy shells, I have some glass shells, stones, sand. A little blue for the water. I put one drop of uh, alcohol ink to change that color. That was one drop. Oh, it turned out pretty. Oh, this one is much better than the other one I did. Oh my goodness, I love it. So look, so much clearer. You can see everything. So there's a mermaid tail right here. Then I've got, what else do we have in here? 
there is a fish right there. I don't know if you can see that koi fish. And let me keep turning it. We've got layers of sand down here. And I have glass, the uh, colored glass rocks, glass, I don't know, broken glass. What do you call that stuff? I can't think right now. Seashells. The, glass, the shine is in the way. Seashells. And then I, I took some shells and glued them together and put pearls in them. So we got some pearls in the shells. Another uh, mermaid tail. There's all these little seashells. This one turned out gorgeous. Much better than the other one. I waited in between each layer. I've got another mermaid tail right there. And then um, you really don't see the ones that I made with resin. These are the shells. You can kind of see them that I made with resin. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And more rocks. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm happy with this one. Oh, and these are my glass shells. They were blue and green. I put them on the bottom layer on top of the sand. I think this turned out gorgeous. I love it. See, when you take your time and let each layer dry, then you get this, these types of results. But this here blue is so dark, I'm telling you, I use one drop in this resin here. One drop of alcohol ink. I did not want it that dark. So let me turn the light on for you. And look at there. Too pretty. I'm tooting my own horn. <laughs> I love it. This one is gorgeous. So I'm going to make a border. Not a border. What do you call it? I'm going to put it on a... um. A block on a, a wooden I don't know what that thing is called anyway I'm gonna put it on a base that's what I'm gonna do and uh, attach it to the base attach the uh, control for the light and then what I'm gonna start doing is is um, attaching two more batteries just blank batteries for when their batteries run when they die or run low, that they can replace their batteries. I've, I've ordered a pack of uh, these type batteries from Amazon. And because when I display, display these, you know, I turn the light on, I turn the light on. And so, you know, I'm burning up the battery as it is. So I'm going to start including two extra batteries. But tell me what you think. I think it's gorgeous. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you. Much love. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. And come back for more. And you can do that if you hit the notification bell. That will alert you to let you know when I have another video up and coming. Uh, this is Tracy. And you're watching from Passionately Intrigued Arts. Thank you again. Peace and love. Oh, that way. We'll see ya on the next one and of course I had extra resin left so I poured it in some molds and this is my koi fish mold so this was the resin that I uh, mixed the sand in so let's see how this fish turned out oh he's pretty This is the sand resin as well, and I poured it in these earring molds. So they're pretty tan, pretty tan color. These actually have sand in them with uh, iridescent uh, flakes. But I really don't see the iridescent flakes in these little earrings. Let's see what this one looks like. That's cute. It's pretty. That could go with what I got on today. But as you see, it's uh, darker on this side. It's lighter on this side. So the uh, 
the sand settled to the bottom of this earring, which is the top. So that's why you have this light color and it's more resin up here on the back. So those are pretty. Of course, you know, there's two, two of each. So I have a set, a pair of each earring. Those are pretty. And then I have this small pyramid mold. And it actually, I haven't made the whole thing yet. It goes to an ashtray, a pyramid ashtray. And there's so many parts to it, I, I really don't know what to do. So I started out with just this. And this was extra resin that I just kept pouring on here. So there's several colors. I think there's blue, clear, and this uh, iridescent white with a little green mixed in it. Extra resin that I had. So let's see what this is going to look like. Oh, it's pretty. It's cute. So I thought I had a clear. Oh, I did have clear, but I mixed the uh, I mixed the white mica powder. When I had it in the mold, I, I sprinkled mica powder in it in the clear and mixed it up. That, that's what I did. You see, it has Egyptian symbols on it. Egyptian writing. I'm going to figure out how to do this ashtray. It's a pyramid ashtray, and I think this is the top part. I'm not sure. Don't get me to lying. i got to pull the whole thing out and see how it works. I just keep adding clips and adding clips, but I wanted to come back and show you that I'm totally done, totally complete. I put this on a base, and this is the wood base that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's... Um, eight by eight perfect for this and I used uh, E6000 and glued the pyramid onto it and what I did was take the on off control and glued it underneath oh this thing is heavy it's over three pounds so right here I drilled a little u-shape a little hole like so that I could stick this wire so it could be flush up against the wood when it sits down it's not lopsided and then glued the wire along this base and attached this with some E6000 making sure that the screws it's not focused are on this outside so that they, the batteries can be changed. And then I added, I just put some uh, painter's tape and added two extra lithium batteries for when these run out. And of course, uh-oh, is that upside down? No, it's not. Of course, I had to put my business name on there. What do you think? I'm going to put it on this turntable for you so you can see. Let it spin around. And like I said, it's a little dark. The blue is a little dark for me. I got this light so you can see it a little better. That was only one drop of alcohol ink into that clear. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. Let me hold it up. And then you can really see the inside if I put this light to it. I'm really proud of this one. Let me turn it this way. Flash that light. Look at it from the top also. Oh, you can really see the koi fish now. Keep turning. And I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done in a minute. Those are the resin shells that I made all along here. Does that light help to see it a little better? Maybe, maybe not. Might be too much glare. Oh, there's that koi fish. Okay, let me let it spin around for you. And turn, oh, I should have turned the light on. Let me do that too. It's late, y'all. 
trying to get done with this video. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let it spin all the way around and then I will cut this video. Be done. Thank you for watching once again. Much appreciated. Tell me what you think. And what type of pyramid should I do next? I got a few ideals. Appreciate you all. Peace and love. We'll see you next time. I'm out. Okay? I'll put my glasses on. Bye, y'all. Love you.